Ed, congratulations. Uh, a one-year contract extension on top of the year you already had remaining. You must be really delighted. Uh, yeah, uh, really happy to be offered it. Um, just gives me a bit more time to you know, work on myself and just keep improving. Yeah, happy with it. So often in football, players, you know, they'll be offered another year, but towards the end of their current contract, to be given that year when you already have a year remaining, it just shows the commitment that the club are making to you. Yeah, exactly. I mean, for a lot of players, it can be a scary time almost the end of the season where you can almost be like rushing yourself because you want to earn another contract. But yeah, this gives me a bit of time where I know I'm going to be contracted so I can work on myself and just yeah keep improving. What were the initial conversations that, that Gary had with you? What did, what did he say when he offered you that, co that contract? Uh, he just said he's, he's liked my attitude, just in training every day. He said I like how, he likes how I train, just like the effort I put in. And then also, on, he said, on, on, on loan, I've been just consistent. I think I've had a good loan this year. And I, I think that's helped me improve, and yeah, I think that's why. We know that in the academy pathway, those loans are so important. Western Supermare and a really successful loan at Dorchester. And that exposure to men's football must have been, been so important for you. Uh, yeah, I think it's really important. I mean, I've had, I've had quite a bit of men's football now. I mean, I've been on loan last year, this year. So the amount of men's football I've played is probably really, um, like, it's helped me a lot recently. And I think going into next year, I'll be much more comfortable in, in the men's game so yeah I know you're particularly pleased with, with how it's been going at, at Dorchester as well do, do you feel like you've improved as a player uh, yeah definitely I mean Dorch I've really enjoyed my time there especially the second half of the season you know like mid-season we're fighting a bit of relegation battle so it showed me different things like that show character week in week out and just yeah playing those 90 minutes every week I think it's just kept me fit, got me more experience and happy with it. And as a defender, we, I mean, we've seen with the first team this season how competitive those defensive positions are. I guess your journey, you look up to someone like Cech Diabate, who's, who's made that academy journey and, and now is probably one of the fans' favourites and, and fighting for that defensive spot. Yeah, he's done it. Done it like how, how I hoped to do it, just come up through the academy. He's had similar sort of loan spells and then he got his chance and he took it. So, yeah, he's someone to look up to. Short term, what are your you know visions? What are you looking towards, particularly in pre-season, perhaps? Uh, really, I'm just looking to work hard over the off-season and come back as fit as possible. You know, just put myself in the best position to, you know, hopefully be in around the first team. Gary said when when we spoke to him about your contract extension, he said that you know it was a reward for for how you've trained and and the effort that you've put in and. You know your attitude as a person as well. How does it feel to you know have to hear the manager's praises like that? Yeah, it's good to hear, but I can't slow down now just because I've got an extra year on top. It doesn't mean I can slow down at all. I just got to keep stay at it and keep working hard. And if you look at the opportunities, the manager's you know willing to give younger players the opportunities when they work hard. For example, looking at Jake Richards this season. Yeah, exactly. It shows that he does give out those opportunities to younger players and. Exactly, I've just got to keep working and hopefully I'll get one of them.